Hello and welcome to x -Tex. Today I wanted to cover one topic that's near and dear to our hearts at Vizu, and that is speed. The whole point of having a material scanner is to make material creation not just easy, but fast as well. So I'm going to show you the whole workflow that I use to scan and tile materials in real time. Let's jump right in. To start things off, I've already placed my material in the scanner so we can start the preview image. Once the preview image loads up, I'm just going to select the area that I want to capture and then start the scan. We do this so that we don't have a bunch of empty black space around the sample. So here we see the preview image load up. I crop to the center of the material, just a nice spot. Click the green check mark to start that scan. And then we're going to wait as it takes 16 different images under different lighting situations, um, giving us that data that we need to create the texture maps. Now, the scanning part of the process could take a minute, up to a minute and a half, depending on the commu uh, computer you're working on. But overall, this process should be relatively quick. Once this finishes, we're actually going to move on to the step of tiling this material. And what that means is the crop that I've made isn't going to give us a perfect repeat of the pattern on this material. And so we need to uh, create that seamless transition between the edges of the image to get uh, what appears to be one large uh, continuous repeat, like it's an organic and a, you know, a real material that you would have in real life. And that's what we're going to do after this. So my scan is finished. I'm going to open up tiling mode, and then I'm going to choose pattern recognition since this is a material that has a noticeably repeating pattern. You can see it picks up all those small pieces and repeats them until it hits the size that I want. Now I'm going to open up the 3D preview so we can see what this material actually looks like on a 3D model. And I think that tiling looks good. So I'll hit the green check mark again to apply all of my changes. And that's it. Now I can save this material. I'll just call it blue mesh. And we have a little bit of extra time. So why not render this? If I click the render button here, it will take this material, put it into a pre-made blender scene that's connected to the software. And it will do a ray traced render on that scene. So we can open up that image and we can see what this blue mesh now looks like in a proper final render. But that's really it. The process should be that quick and easy for most of the materials you work with. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and let us know. Otherwise, have a nice day.